Hi, y'all. Let's talk a little bit about President Trump versus the NFL and taking a knee. Uh, insert Skyrim joke here. So, uh, for years now, social justice warriors, feminists, uh, leftists have had as their MO going after people's jobs, going after people's livelihoods for what these people say uh, in, on their own private time, not as representatives of a company or an organization, but just you know what they say in their normal lives, perhaps on social media, maybe it's a joke in a restaurant, it's been overheard, and some really seriously butthurt progressive has managed to find out where this person works and they go to the person's boss and say, your person, your employee, uh, said this in his own private capacity, not as a representative of your company, but he's still a representative of your company, get rid of him. That's been their MO. Uh, I have always been opposed to this tactic. I don't think it's a good idea. It's not going to go well in the long term because eventually the moderates and the people on the right are going to take off the kid gloves and say, well, look, we don't like this particular tactic, but if this is going to be the level of discourse that, that we need to engage in in order to fight this battle, then we're going to sink to it. We're going to get down in the pit with you and, and play in the mud. And I, that seems to be the direction uh, that things are headed. But in the instant uh, uh, controversy, the NFL players are doing this on the job and as representatives of the NFL in violation of their employment contracts, incidentally. And so the president is saying, in his own um, braggadocious kind of way, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't help but use that word there slightly inappropriately, in, in his own brazen way, that, uh, that NFL, you should enforce your contract. And the response to that was that NFL, player, uh, NFL team owners come out and say, uh, no, actually, we're all going to get in on this, uh, taking a knee kind of thing because of you know, reasons. And it, the president is, is not violating any laws. Uh, he is just adopting the M.O. of, uh, well, M.O. light of the leftists. Here he's going after uh, these people's jobs because of what they're doing on the jobs and you know, doing something that their contracts say they should not be doing, as opposed to going after people for what they did in private that was seen by someone who took offense at it uh, elsewhere and otherwise. But this is not a good direction for a civil uh, society to go in. That the the head of government, the head of state, is going to be going around opining uh, on who should and who should not be employed. Uh, that's for the employers to do, and that's something that that a president uh, should generally leave to people to work out among themselves. There, you know, they'll find some equilibrium in society as people battle this out, and there's boycotts and there's. People get tired of the boycotts, and you, you know how it plays out. And it'll the, the uh, chips will land where they may. But on the other hand, no U.S. president is ever going to put a foot wrong by uh, unabashedly defending you know, the, the uh, flag of the United States um, or the national anthem, particularly if the person is on the right, because these are things that are very important to the people on the right. Now... Of course, leftists, being as intellectually consistent as they are, have no problems at all with someone going after someone else's job for things that they said while they're on the job, since they think it's perfectly okay to go after people's jobs for what people say when they're not on the job, right? No, of course not. They're all uh, kinds of butt hurt, and, you know, oh, the end times are here, Trump is a fascist, you know, the, the gas chamber is right around the corner, you just can't see it yet. It's nonsense. The president is not trying to, uh, you know, write some kind of executive order that would subject someone to some penalty there isn't a law that's going to be passed that's going to imprison these people. They're perfectly free to act like assholes uh, in their own time, and they're perfectly free to act like assholes on company time if the companies want to let their employees go around acting like assholes on company time. If the companies want to pay for that and take whatever the revenue loss is that might come from a public reaction to having asshole employees, well, if that's your business model, uh, many happy returns, you know, rah, 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 three bags full, go with what you know. So, you know, there aren't any right-wing death squads coming around to police the NFL, but what you're going to see, I think, is a lot of people tuning out and uh, realizing what it is that I've said for years. There is nothing particularly special about uh, athletes. They are not and never have been role models. These are people whose only uh, skill in life is admirably chasing balls. I have a dog that does that perfectly well. And... She doesn't come around with all kinds of political opinions trying to shove them down my throat as opposed to providing a, a source of entertainment. She is always entertaining. I'm getting my money's worth, unlike a, a great majority of NFL players right now who are being ill-served by the, uh, the entertainers 
whose salary they uh, contribute mightily to. And one other thing here on government vis-a-vis uh, -vis, vis -vis the uh, NFL and sports, uh, Stadia. I think that we should get out of the business of funding sports activities with government funds entirely. Not because of the NFL. I mean, this is just be a very happy coincidence if these two coincide. But it's, uh, it, it's been my view for years. The state should not go around subsidizing people's leisure activities or forms of uh, entertainment. Now, in schools, if you have like a physical fitness program to keep people in shape, that's one thing. And if sports is, uh, happen as, uh, occur as a consequence of that, because it is athletic, then that's, that's kind of fine. But this, the hyper-competitive uh, entertainment aspect of it, uh, the government should get out of funding that. That you guys want to build up this big empire of people who chase balls on uh, fields that have some funny lettering and little lines on it. Knock yourselves out. Spend all the money that you have on it if that's what you want to do. Leave the taxpayer out of it. All right, that's what I have to say on that subject. Have a great day.